Well, it's been a while since we heard anything about the Bad Bunny-led Spider-Man spinoff, El Muerto. And it sounds like we're not going to be hearing a lot more about it. Let's break down the current update, what's going on, and how this project seems to have met a very common Sony fate. Well, as many of you know, Sony has been making effort to expand their Spider-Man universe. And they've announced all kinds of projects, some of which are going to be releasing in the next year, like Madam Web and Craven. But at last year's CinemaCon, Sony did make the announcement of several new projects, including Venom 3 and El Muerto. Now, everybody was expecting that Venom sequel, but fans were more than a little surprised for plans for such an obscure Spider-Man villain to get his own movie. Now, we immediately found out that Sony gave fairly popular rapper and aspiring actor Bad Bunny his pick of Marvel characters from their Spider-Man universe, and he's the one who actually decided to take a crack at this particular franchise. If you know who he is and know his love for professional wrestling, this is really not a surprise because he actually competed in a WrestleMania event over at WWE. Now, in a recent Time profile about the rapper, they dug into this project a little bit, and what Time Magazine had to say was pretty interesting. In the article, it says, Bad Bunny feigned confusion when asked about the movie and said that no filming had taken place. His publicist said the movie was at a standstill and later clarified that it's in development. Now, if you know Sony's history, you know there have been multiple projects that kind of get some legs and then eventually disappear. Over the years, we've heard projects about various characters including Jackpot, Black Cat, and Silver Sable, all of which started to get a little momentum and quickly fizzled out. The main question about this project has always been if fans even want it. So let's make that the fan feedback question for this video and also make sure you hit that like button. Now, quite honestly, when I look at this, it really does appear to be one of those projects that was probably announced without a lot of vetting and is simply no longer a priority to Sony Pictures for a number of reasons. Quite honestly, Bad Bunny himself is super busy, so that probably doesn't help matters very much considering this movie was originally set to be released next January, meaning they should already be in front of the camera and coming close to wrapping up to get it into post-production. I always found this to be a really weird choice for any of the characters for Sony to explore. Now, I get the idea of expanding into new and diverse areas, but this character was so unknown, I really didn't know where they were going to go with it. He has only tussled with Spider-Man a handful of times, but more of his story is based around the supernatural being who is responsible for granting him and his family with supernatural abilities via the mask he wears, at least in the comics. Personally, I think this project is probably dead in the water, although over the next couple of months, if we see Sony actually shift the project to a new date, it does mean there's still some life and they intend on finishing it. If not, I suspect it just fades away into obscurity, gets backburned like a lot of those other projects, and we never really hear anything about it again. But we're going to have to wait and see.